Welcome to Active Health Tips. I'm Dr. Jason, and today we're going to give you a tip on how to stretch your hamstrings. Perhaps one of the biggest issues that people have these days is tight hamstrings. And if your lower back is out of alignment and subluxated, especially if you've got a curve in your lower back, or if you stand with a pelvic tilt like that, your hamstrings are getting stretched all day, every day. They're in pain, they're tight. And if you're one of those people that goes down, uh, oh, oh God, your hamstrings are tight. Oh my God, it's gonna make your lower back hurt. So I'm gonna give you a couple of hamstring stretches that I do that I love so that you can stay lean, flexible, and fluid. Number one is the simplest one perhaps, is to find something maybe a little lower than hip height and to get your heel up on there. So I'm gonna take this chair, I'm gonna put my heel here. Notice I'm very square. So as opposed to standing like this, like a dancer might, I'm gonna get very, very square. It puts the hamstring under direct tension so that we get an optimal stretch. So hips square, chest up just like that. Now, if I wanted to take it a step further, I could reach forward. I could hold a leg. I could even put a strap, a band, a towel around, and I could go forward. But I always advise people to not do that until you're first square and you're able to get a good, nice stretch this way. Because if you're hurting and you're grimacing just like that, it may be hard to do. Now, the next stretch, and by the way, you can modify that. You could put it on something a little bit lower. You could find something that's your height or your size. You could put it up here like so if it's a more gentle stretch. The next stretch you're going to do is you're going to stand with your feet together. And this is simple, and I'll show you a variation on this. You're going to reach towards the floor. So you're going to go ahead and reach down like this. And if your hands touch the floor, I'm kind of being restricted here by my shirt. You want to get your hands flat ideally, but if your hands are here, you can stretch a few ways. Number one is you can just hang out here. <sighs> Breathe, let the head drop. Number two is you can hold the back of your ankles, your shins, your legs here. <sighs> hold your head closer to your legs. And you can do that. You can also put your hands and lock your hands here and stretch your hamstrings and your back at the same time by pulling. Now that's a very simple stretch. A variation on that is to take your legs, cross one over the other, like so, to reach down again to the floor. It's always very important to breathe while you're stretching. You can cross over and do the other leg. What you're gonna feel usually is one side is tighter than the other. Those are a couple simple ways to stretch your hamstrings. And then last and certainly not least, the basics. So what you're gonna do is you're going to sit like so. You're gonna reach forward, hold your legs like this. If you can't reach, you can grab here. Hold the feet, hands over the top, put a towel, put a band. You can really breathe. And then many people ask, how long should I hold a stretch for? The simple answer is until the strain is gone. It could be 30 seconds, it could be 10, 15 seconds, it could even be two to five minutes. But if you stretch continuously and regularly, in addition to getting your alignments, you'll notice that you feel better, you function better, your muscles stay healthy. Many muscle tears and muscle injuries are because the muscle's not flexible but that stems typically from a spinal problem. So make sure you stretch. Let me know how you do.